Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for it, and play through the Midnight Masks scenario on standard difficulty. And uh, lately we have only gotten Mystics in this series, so hopefully this time we are able to pick another class for some variety. We'll see how it goes. I have my investigator tokens in the back. And just to mention, uh, I have already uh, added the Edge of the Earth investigators in the back. So there are new investigators and also we are using all of the um, player cards from that investigator expansion. So let's get started by picking up our investigator. So, the unlucky investigator this time is another mystic. Uh, I just can't believe how we always get mystics in this series, but it is what it is. Not gonna change my pool. So we get Diana Stanley. And we are ready to hop over to ArkhamDB.com to build the deck. So let's go over there. Okay, so we are over on ArkhamDB.com and let's pick up Diana Stanley and create a deck. So I am using all of the cards available to me at the moment. So because we got a bunch of new uh, multi-class cards, this might be a really, really strange looking deck. So we'll see. So let's just push the chaos button here and see what we get. Okay, well. First off, we have a flashlight. It will help us get some clues. We have one trench knife. I think it's utterly useless. Uh, Twilight Blade is uh, Diana's own. But then uh, we have the 45 Thompson. So uh, we have a big weapon, but it is expensive. So it's not ideal. Uh, then we have alchemical transportation, not that useful. Uh, exhaust alchemical transmutation, spend one charge, test willpower one for each point you succeed by, uh, gain one resource. So, uh, with Diana, we, our willpower is really low at the start, so... Right of Sanctification, uh, not useful because we don't have possibly many ways to add um, tokens to the back. Riot Whistle... <laughs> uh, Uh, I can't remember if... I think none of the cultists are... Uh, in... If, or uh, what's the keyword? Aloof. Yeah, so I think this isn't that useful. St. Hubert's key. Uh, it is a cancel. No, it's a heal. Okay, so never mind. Well, it's a good, good card. Maybe guard dog times two. Well, at least something useful. Olive McBride. Um, yeah, well, we can put the olive into the basement to boost our willpower. Venturer. Not that useful. Well, uh, we could use Venturer to boost uh, bullets onto the 45 Thompson. Enchanted Blade. It's a good one for Diana. Forbidden Knowledge. Not that useful. Solemn Woe, uh, completely useless in uh, True Solo, True G Crit, uh, Health Soak, not that needed in uh, Diana. Get over here, might be useful. I'll see you in Hell, <laughs> completely useful if we want to. Uh, well, if we want to, like, uh, yeah, it's non elite, so it is useless. Let me handle this, it's useless in True Solo. Well, Dark Inside is the staple card. Emergency Aid, uh, not good. Hypnotic Gaze, um, not useful at all. Medi uh, meditative Trance is a newer card uh, from the edge of the earth, so for each of your arcane slot that is filled, either heal one damage or one horror. Well, not really good. 
maybe. Uh, one two punch, mm, not my favorite for Diana. Might get some use. Uh, parallel fates, a mm, this. Uh, Uh, it is not a cancel, so not useful for Diana. Quantum Flux, not useful. Stand together, times two. Utter uselessness in true solo. <laughs> Storm of Spirits might be useful, might be not. Double manual dexterity, well, at least we have some icons to commit for eva um, evasions or like lock doors or something. Promise of power, always good, but only one copy. Mm. Steadfast, uh, it is useful sometimes in fighting. And one unexpected courage, so... A, a bad deck altogether, in my opinion. Let's see what the random weakness is. And if it's a multiplayer or something, we'd have to reroll it. But it is the Silver Twilight Acolyte, so that is acceptable. So... Uh, that is the whole deck for Diana. I will next build the deck and then we are ready to start playing. So I'll build the deck and let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to begin. So uh, we have the Diana Stanley deck built here. It is shuffled and we have the a ghoul priest shuffled into the encounter deck. We start at your house. We are playing on standard difficulty. Uh, Diana starts the game with dark inside the hand, so let's draw our opening hand. And we really want to find um, some ways to ease our investigating at the start, but also a weapon. So we get in. Unexpected Courage, uh, Right Weasel, Venturer, we shall Terrible Secrets back. Uh, I'll see you in Hell and Forbidden Knowledge, so these all will go. So we keep the Unexpected Courage, and not much help here. Well, Guard Dog is an okay, okay pull here, but not really happy with the hand. Um, we have no weapon. But it is what it is. Let's see. So we shuffle the deck and start. I think first action here is just to play down the card dog. So we use three resources to play card dog. First action is to investigate. Uh, we are investigating three versus one. I'm uh, committing the meditative stance, uh, trance here. I don't think we are using that in anytime soon for uh, healing. So, four versus two. <laughs> Auto fail. Good start. Uh, last action. We'll investigate again. And this time I'm committing the. Well, I'm just trying three versus one. Minus two, we are unable to investigate. No enemies, we've got to upkeep. We draw one card, we gain one resource, and it is stand together, which is all, also useless. <laughs> but it is what it is, so... That is the first turn. Let's go to the second turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. Encounter card is... False lead. If you have no clues, false lead can search. So we don't have any clues yet. Grip chill. <laughs> uh, test the willpower 4. If you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. If you cannot take two damage instead. I think I am cancelling that using this. So I'll play this fast play when an investigator at your location draws an encounter card or weakness. Cancel all of that card's effects and shuffle it back into its deck. And uh, after a card you own cancels or ignores card effect or game effect, if there are fewer than five cards beneath Diana Stanley, 
place that card face down beneath her, draw one card and gain one resource. So I'm using this, I'll pay for her two. I'll gain one resource and draw one card. Well, we get the enchanted blade at least. And this is cancelled, so we don't lose the card dog. And I'll keep the cards beneath uh, Diana over here. So I remember. So this boosts uh, our willpower up by one. So that is at least good. Uh, first action. I will just investigate 3 versus 2. Not committing anything. Minus one will grab this clue. Second action will move to River Town. Uh, River Town is a one shroud location, so last action will investigate there. So two versus one. So I think we have good chances here to grab this clue. <laughs> now the fail, so no, no luck there. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, uh, parallel phase, and we gain one. So. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll add a Doom to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is... On Wings of Darkness, test Agility 4. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror, then in disengage from each non-night count enemy. Engage with you and move to the central location. So we wouldn't move, we just take damage and horror, so... I think I'm fine taking damage and horror, so I'm not committing anything here. I have no ways to cancel that, so... It is what it is. It's a plus one, so we actually succeed. So this doesn't take effect. Well, that was lucky. First action will investigate. Uh, I'm just investigating uh, three versus one. Minus three. I'll investigate again. Three versus one. So. We are really unlucky with the post today. <laughs> Minus four. Last action. I, I have to commit something, so I'm committing this. So, uh, four versus one. Minus two. But of course, the minute I commit something, I would succeed without committing. So, I'll grab this clue. We have two clues for next turn, so hopefully we are, are we are able to spawn a cultist. So no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get trench knife. So we have steadfast, uh, solemn wall, uh, unexpected courage, stand together, enchanted blade, and trench knife. So we have a weapon, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, and counter card is Hunting Shadow, uh, Peril, Revelation, you must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. I'll just take the damage. Okay, first action, I will play, um, I play the Enchanted Blade, so it takes one hand, and hand slot, and one Arcane slot, so I'll place it over here. It has three charges on it. And then... Second action will spend the clues to spawn a cultist. I think I forgot to shuffle this deck, so I'll do it now. So I'm just shuffling the cultist here. So... I will grab the bottom one. It is Wolfman Drew, so good, good thing we... Um, Played the weapon, so we have a better chance to defeat Wolfman Drew. So Wolfman Drew draw, uh, spawns at the downtown. Uh, force when Wolfman Drew attacks, heal one damage from him. So we pretty much need to kill Wolfman Drew. Uh, with two swings, uh, last action will move to East Town. And there is one clue there. So, uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, we'll draw one card. Manual dexterity. And we gain one resource. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
Uh, we are at 4 of 6 doom encounter card for this turn is on wings of darkness so we really don't want to fail this one i am committing manual dexterity to the test and i will also commit the unexpected courage so we are 7 versus 4 it is a zero so We'll actually draw a card with the manual dexterity. Alchemical transmutation, not that useful, but the reason I wa didn't want to fail the it is that now we can move, hit it. So we'll do that. So uh, we'll go to the investigation phase, we'll move. Uh, we'll move to downtown. It is a three shroud location, one crew. And action gain three resources. And here we could play allies cheaper, but we don't have any allies to play at the moment. Second action, we'll use a charge from the enchanted blade. So we are fighting uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, so 5 versus 4. And I'll commit the French knife, so 6 versus 4. Plus 1, we deal 2 damage. Last action will hit again. I'll commit the steadfast this time. We have a total of 10 health and sanity remaining, so this gives plus 3. So uh, we are fighting uh, 6, 7, 8 versus 4. Another plus 1. So we are getting a bit balanced after all of those auto fails. And Wolfman Drew is defeated and goes into the victory display. So first cult is down, and that is our turn, uh, we are over here. So no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we'll draw emergency aid, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 tomb of 6, and counter card for this turn is... It is the cool priest, and it is it spawns at your house, so we'll add priest over here it starts uh, hunting us that is the uh, mythos phase we'll go to the investigation phase first action we'll investigate here I really don't have it. well I'm committing the emergency aid to the chest so four versus three minus one I will grab this clue Second action will move to East Town, and last action will investigate here. So, uh, investigating 3 versus 2. We don't have anything to commit, so we need the minus 1 of hazard. It's a 0. We are able to grab this clue, and that is our investigated phase. Uh, enemy phase, the ghoul priest uh, hunts to River Town. We'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, another. Uh, well, forbidden knowledge, not that useful. Well, it's a, a intellect icon for investigating, and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at six tomb of six, so the agenda advances. So that means the masked hunter is upon us. Just mark the mask hunter. So it, it is engaged with us. I'll put it over here. So uh, the mask hunter is a four fight, uh, six health, and two evade. Uh, humanoid called is elite. Spawn engaged with the prey. Prey must lose. The mass hunter gets plus two health per investigator while you're engaged with the mass hunter. You cannot discover or spend clues. So I'm thinking, um, even though Diana is able to fight with the enchanted blade, uh, I think we need to run away from the mass hunter because the cool priest is just coming uh, after us. But we'll go to the, uh, we'll continue the middle space while we draw a card. Obscuring fog, that doesn't 
affect us at all because we already got the clue from here. First action, we will try to evade. So I'm evading 3 versus 2. So I need a minus 1 or better. And it is a minus 1, so the uh, mass counter is evaded. Second action, we'll move to downtown. And last action, I will actually, because it's safe to spawn the cultist, because we defeated Wolfman Drew, so I'll use these clues to spawn another cultist. And we get Herman Collins, so we need to get to the graveyard somehow. That is unfortunate because we really would have wanted to get the one with the resources, but it is what it is. Herman Collins uh, is our next target, so we'd probably just run there and dump our hand to uh, defeat Herman Collins next turn. So, uh, enemy phase, nothing happens except the cool priest hunts here. Upkeep, uh, we ready up. We draw, we get, uh, let me handle it. Uh, uh, let me handle this and one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a tune to the agenda. Encounter card is an acolyte. So, I think uh, we'll just put it over here. We can just uh, kill it with the Guard dog. So uh, it's in the north side. First action will move to north side. Uh, this uh, acolyte engages us. There are two clues here. Unfortunately, we don't have good ways to get them. Uh, we'll move, so uh, we'll put one damage on the guard dog. And I will deal one damage to the enemy. So that is that. And we'll move to the Miskatonic University. Actually, uh, one, two, three, one, two, so. Let's not move here yet. I think I'm just trying to investigate here. So um, instead of moving, I'm investigating so the acolyte hits us. I'm co committing the forbidden knowledge to this test. And uh, we need the, a zero, uh, no, we need a minus one or better. Yeah, so we have four versus three. It's a zero. Grab one clue. And uh, I think we want to try to get the other one. So a bit risk here, we need a zero or better, but Next turn we can maybe do something else, maybe spend the resources to get two clues. So, um, let's see, uh, three versus three, it's zero, so we are lucky and we get actually a victory point from here next uh, at the end of the game. Uh, enemy phase, um, the goal priest and mass counter hunt here, upkeep, we draw a card, another guard dog and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, encounter card is a uh, hunting knight count, so okay, we, we need to deal with this guy. I think we are evading and running away. So uh, first action, evade, uh, minus Two or better, so we are evading uh, three versus one. Oh yeah, and we doubled it, so we actually need a minus one or better. It's a minus four. Uh, let's try that again. It's 
it is a skull and skulls are minus x, x is the highest number of two monocultists, so it's a zero. So this guy is, is evaded and uh, last action we will move to the Miskatonic University. We don't have time to spend the resources here. There are two clues here and uh, enemy face, uh, these guys hunt here. Upkeep, uh, that guy readies, we draw one card, we get the right of sanctification and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another doom and counter card for this turn is locked door. So the Miskatonic University is locked, so we don't care. Uh, first two actions will just move, move to the graveyard. It is a one shot location with two clues. Uh, Herman Collins engages us. Uh, after you enter a graveyard, test will power. Three. If you fail, you must either take two more or uh, two river towns. So we are uh, committing solemn vow. So four versus three. Stand together. Five versus three. Alchemical transmutation. Six versus. Uh, no, no. We need to four cards here. So five versus three. I think that's good enough. It is a minus one, and uh, that is that. Uh, last action, we'll parlay and use the four cards to defeat Herman Collins. So, to call this down, and that is our investigate uh, investigation phase, so enemy phase, these enemies hunt here, actually, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so they have to hunt to the Miskatonic University. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw one card, right of sanctification, uh, no, right of seeking, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so four of eight, and counter card is a uh, crypt chill. Uh, we're just testing four versus uh, two versus four, so I think card drop will get defeated. It's a zero, so we fail, and we have to uh, discard one asset we, con we control, so guard dog, guard frozen. <coughs> Uh, okay, uh, first action, we'll spend these two clues. We'll get another cultist. And this time it's Root Turner, so it spawns at the St. Mary's Hospital. Again, not the one we wanted. But that is what we got, so if we try to head over there some at some point to get... Um, uh, root turner either killed or evaded. Uh, second action will move. We, we don't have time to get these clues because those guys are hunting here. So we'll move to River Town, we'll move to East Town, and we'll loop around so these guys hunt here and we start uh, running around. Okay, so that is uh, our investigation phase, enemy phase. These guys hunt here. Upkeep, we draw a card, promise of power, really good for uh, defeat, uh, evading root turner, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at five of eight doom, and counter card for this turn is lock door. So that's the location with the most clues. So the graveyard is also locked. So. I think that is all the clues we are getting at, the, at this game. Uh, first action, we'll move to downtown. So, one, two, one, two, three. So, well, this is a bit of a problem. So, 
one, two, one, two. So if we move to north side, those guys hunt here and block our passage. So we need to count. So uh, if we move next turn, like one, one, two, three, and root turner engages us, we'll take one damage. These guys go here and move here, and next turn we can um, defeat root turner and resign. Okay, and we have enough time for that. So this turn, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I think we just have enough time. We don't get some uh, ways, or if we don't get any bad cards, so. Okay, um, I'll draw a card, flashlight, I'll draw a card, olive, and that is our turn. Enemy actions, these guys hunt here, and root doesn't have hunter, so root doesn't move. Upkeep, we draw a card, a twilight blade, and we gain one or so. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are a doom, 6 of uh, 8, so next turn will be the last turn. Encounter card is false lead. If you have no clues, this can search. We don't have any clues. Uh, Wizard of the Order, so I think we are good. Okay, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no. Okay, so we need to do this another way. So uh, this spawns over here. And we need to kill that uh, wizard of the order somehow. So at the end of the middle space it gets one doom. So we'll do one, two. And uh, we'll hit the wizard of the order. Our last action this turn. I am using the enchanted blade. So five versus four, seven versus four. So we are up by three. So we need to hit this to uh, be able to defeat root. So it's a zero. We deal two damage. So this uh, wizard of the order is defeated. And. Uh, that is our investigation phase, enemy phase, these guys hunt here, one, well, uh, one, two, one, two, three, okay, so this doesn't matter, they actually hunt here, and upkeep, we draw a card, uh, get over here, okay, not useful, and we gain one resource, so, uh, that is that turn, Let's go to the next turn. And uh, I think this will be the last turn because we go to 7 Doom. If we would continue, uh, that would mean we would run out of time. So uh, we'll add Doom. We're at 7. Encounter card is uh, Acolyte. So luckily, this doesn't affect us. We'll just spawn it over here. It gets 1 Doom, but we are already past the point where we check for doom and advancing the agenda. So first action uh, we'll move here. Root engages us. There is one clue here we don't uh, care. Second action we are evading. I'm using promise of power so we'll add one do uh, one curse token to the back so we are evading uh, 7 versus 5. So we need a minus 2 or better. And it is a uh, cultist, so minus 2, place 1 doom on the nearest cultist enemy. This is a cultist enemy, so we place a doom here. But root turner is evaded and defeated. And that is that, so last action we are signing. 
So that went actually much better than I expected. So promise of power again, clutch guard, really good for mystics. So we were able to get uh, one uh, victory point from there and three cultists defeated. So four victory points, which is a pretty good um, result. Uh, looking at the deck list, so I'm pretty happy with this result. I was expecting this to be much uh, of a harder game, but sometimes chaos is forgiving. <laughs> but and this was uh, definitely a, a turn, uh, a game where uh, the chaotic nature of this uh, challenge didn't uh, hinder us that much. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Hopefully next time we get something else that is realistic, but thanks for watching and until next time.